so today I have Zilani with me. I uh, would like to have a conversation on the makeup industry, the creative industry, and about bloggers and influencers and how they appreciate the creatives. So Zilani, say hi. Hi. Hi everyone. I'm excited to be here. Okay. So Zilani has been doing my makeup for a while. You see all those face bits you see on me, it's her. She does a wonderful job. Uh, but today we're talking about a different topic. So when I wanted to blog consistently, uh, my peer advised me to get a consistent makeup artist who will be there whenever I need to do my photos and my shoots, and whenever I do to do, need to do any videos, to, to have just that consistent look and to look professional. So I went to the market, I found Zilani, we agreed on a fee, and we decided that here we are, maybe a year later. But my issue, what we want to talk about today is how um, the makeup artists and the creative in the industry have a hard time getting paid for what they do. So, Zilani, I'd like you to tell us your experience, how it has been those years, and how long have you been doing makeup? Um, I've been doing makeup for three years. I didn't even know that. Yeah, this uh -huh. is my fourth year. Uh -huh. I'm just easing into my fourth year because I started in 2015. Uh -huh. And I just started by chance, but just God has been faithful. I've got good clients mm -hmm. who are loyal clients and we in this industry by the way just thank god for consistency and mm -hmm. consistent clients because mm -hmm. they pay the bill mm -hmm. so did you know like since the time you were small when you grew up did you know this is what you wanted to do or did you your parents did, like did you, is this you what you, the career you wanted <laughs> no i wanted to be a nurse actually oh. Imagine. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wanted to be a nurse, uh, but because uh, I I don't have parents, I didn't have anyone to pay for me mm -hmm. to go to nursing school. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know actually this is what I wanted to do. It was just a hobby. Mm -hmm. I just liked doing my friends' makeup when we were going for funkies and um, when we have like you the makeup out. those days. Yeah, I used to like do people's eyebrows with razors. Wow, that's yes. nice. Do okay. people's I like I pee. Mm -hmm. We used to have like a, a black I I pencil that we used to call it IP. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that is how I started. Okay. And yeah. so when you maybe you said this after you got married, I assume. Yes. And so please explain to me or tell us like how much a person that is course if someone wants to start doing this, like a makeup, just basics. Approximately. Um <laughs> I was so naive guys. I thought I needed that. <laughs> so I approached my husband and told him, please babe, give me 30,000, you know, because I was really clueless. I mm -hmm. did not know anything. I did not know anything This is 2015? Yes, mm -hmm. I didn't know anything where about where to start, mm -hmm. about how to get shades, about what I would need. So of course I underquoted by far, by far, by far. So you needed more? I needed more. Jesus, like how like much to more? establish a kit and to mm. start just basics. Basics mm. probably you need like 150k because you need shades. Mm -hmm. That's the most expensive thing because mm -hmm. you need different shades, like different foundations and different shades of foundation and different shades of powders and maybe different types of skin tones and you need different. Yani, it was just a whole other world. So did it have kill you when you went back and said you need 150? Um, so tell us how you worked around it. Did you like start doing like jobs and then say? And then now you, you, you. Um, first of all, he was not on board. Obviously. He was not <laughs> on board at all. Mm -hmm. He did not get it. He did not get how you're going to start doing people's makeup. Going to people's houses. Mm -hmm. That was his idea. Like you're going to go to people's houses and do makeup. Uh -huh. So he was not, he was totally against it. Mm -hmm. So it's my dad. My, yeah, it's mm -hmm. my dad who gave me the money. Mm -hmm. That's been your, yours. Foster dad. My foster dad, yeah. He's the one who gave me the money, the 30k. Wow. Yeah, he's so supportive. Thank you, dad. Thank you. Thank you so much. He's so supportive because I'm going to share this video. Well, please do. I'll share this video. I share all my things with him. That's good. Yeah, my so mom knows. He gave me. You know, <laughs> so, yeah, so he gave me, and I was. See, I, I went there because I didn't know. So, I consulted my friend. She's a makeup artist called Sony K. Mm -hmm. So a consultant Sony K, she told me that I could go uh, to Linton's and get like nice black opal things. Mm -hmm. But when I went, they used along Samago they used to have like a, you know those uh, testers they used to sell them to makeup artists. Okay. But now when I went, they had stopped. Okay. So I needed to buy individual shades. shades. Hey, that is when the that is how the cookie crumbles because now I found out. 
My money is not enough. Mm, you just can only buy like five foundations. Yeah. That's so it. what I did, I, I remember I have my own shade of foundation. Mm-hmm. Good. So I got like a dark one and a really light one. And now if I got someone in the middle, I used to mix the light one and the dark one. Oh, I get some. The struggle was real. The struggle was real, but thank God I knew how to mix the shades. Mm-hmm. I don't know how I know, but thank God I know. For I bought a few lipsticks. I started with Pauline Cosmetics because I really just wanted to have original things, even if they were not a lot. At least I wanted to have a repetition of original, even if it is black or pearl good and quality. good quality. Because I did not want somebody saying at you, oh, Zilani messed up my face. Messed up my face, do what? Yeah, that is how I started by just buying kidogo, 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 kidogo. I do a job, I get some See? money. I add chama. Yes, you know. I get. Mm. Yeah. So you are not buying cookers and stuff with the chama. No. But you are buying makeup. Me, I was buying makeup and makeup kit, and you know, I wanted that suitcase. You know, yeah. because I used to carry my things around in a handbag. I buy you a professional makeup artist. <laughs> no, I did not look like a professional. So, uh, guys, why I wanted to learn to us that story is because I wanted to understand what it entails in terms of investment, in terms of money wise time for makeup artists to actually be able to do a good job on you and so now we're going to the topic of now how it how it works in terms of when there's a blogger influencer who comes to you i'm going for an event do for me my makeup and you have to charge them and you're charging them your your fuel and everything mm. so how does it work for you because not everyone will be willing to pay actually, and tell me your yeah. experience yeah mm-hmm. well i have had <laughs> So many experiences. Be honest. <laughs> We're not naming names. <laughs> We're not naming names, no. but yeah, it's it's just not the best. This industry right now mm-hmm. is just not the best. I would actually prefer a normal monanchi as opposed to a celebrity. And because what is a celebrity in Kenya? I don't, I don't know. In Kenya, a celebrity is someone who is known, mm-hmm. who's popular with the masses and who has enough who has followers. followers and people know that person. You know, I have been blessed. I have a few celebrities that really pay. But then once in a while you get those celebrities, uh T V anchors, you get those people who want you to do their makeup and then okay. for exposure. The payment is exposure. What does exposure mean? At the, now I'll do your makeup, mm-hmm. then you'll post because maybe you have more followers than I do. Mm-hmm. You'll post the picture and tag me. At the, now, all of a sudden, I shall have followers. But we all know followers doesn't like it's going to money. It's going to money. Like yes. I wish one like was one dollar. I know, Cindy. Like, oh, like really, I would be so rich by now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So most people you find, mm-hmm. they want to pay you with exposure. Even companies. I have even been approached by a company that I can, I'm not going to name and they wanted me to come on board as their brand ambassador but they just wanted me to to be giving me products free products just free products and no money and you do <laughs> yeah and so in terms of if I were to ask would you rather like work with just the brides and such things instead of working with bloggers and influencers because at the end of the day you need to pay your bills you need to pay your bills and that is something that they, they don't really understand that i am a mom i'm a wife i am running a home i i need to keep on having good quality products and you can't tell your husband oh i'm oh, going to work exactly. and then you don't have you don't, anything to show you're it. asking him babe yeah. give me money for pesa maziwa. you know mm-hmm. pesa kwanza pesa maziwa. can you imagine mm-hmm. and people that's what people don't understand because for someone like the blogging can be a hobby yeah, it can be because they have a nine to five mm. but this is my nine to five you know you. and I they want you. makeup for free and i can't just do makeup for free yeah. so you, you end up not getting these jobs you know then there's always young makeup artists coming up who are buying the bootleg products who's going to charge oh. you a thousand yes that's what happens yes you find that there are those who are coming up, I'm not saying all of them are, mm. but you find that those that are coming up are even more affordable. But I can't be, I can't charge you that kind of money because I am buying my products. I want to buy good quality lipsticks, I want to buy good quality shimmers, I want to buy a good quality uh, setting spray. How am I going to afford that and mm. pay me my, pay myself, pay my fuel and at least make something make, make, make something make something out yeah, of it because you're like to five. Yes, yes 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 it's difficult so guys you've heard it from zilani from the makeup artists the creatives in the industry please when you want them to come and do something for you you're going for an event please don't ask for free things you know even kathy you can come to me and tell me like zilani i'll be, I'll be having a lot of shoots 
this year. Yes, yes. That's that's what I did. Yeah. We yeah. Can, we, we, I talked to her yeah. and I told her, you know what, in a week maybe we'll be doing my makeup twice. Mm. So we came to a price that I could afford. Exactly. And because I'll be consistent, she agreed. Yeah. And also another thing which I've noticed mm -hmm. is when you have a makeup artist and you've questioned they should let me have, mm -hmm. whenever you tell me that, oh, Kathy, I'm not able to make it, you get annoyed. Yes. I really don't understand yeah. that. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I've not bought her in like my... How do I say this? You know, like the way I can Beyonce mm -hmm. have this full time twenty four yeah. hour makeup artist. Yeah. So because right now I'm not at that level where I can tell you, you know, I'll yeah, have you on I board. Stop everything yes, I'll you. pay you two hundred k a month mm -hmm. so that whenever I want you come. I am available for you. For you, exactly. you get. So whenever she tells me that she's not available, I'm able to say it's okay. It's Please fine. recommend and for me catch someone else. And yeah. don't catch feelings. It's nothing personal. It's nothing she's personal. just trying to make her daily bread. You yeah. know. Yeah. And that's one thing I feel like we should be able to release makeup assets in that way. You should. We should. I had a a, a good client of mine, and I, we had a good working relationship. Relationship until there was a time that I had, and she really hurt me because I had just lost uh, my baby, and she called me during that that period, and I could not go because I needed to go for a checkup, and she blocked me. She blocked me. Did not, has never called me. Never, you know. I even tried to reach out to her. She's never responded. And you know, you guys, let's be human. You know, makeup artists are also people. When I come to your house, don't treat me as if I want to steal. Just because that's another thing. You have very bougie products. She has very bougie foundations, and she's not ever at one time treated me like I'm going to steal just because I don't have Dior in my kit. You know. We need to also understand that, that we are all human beings. Yeah, we are all human beings, mm -hmm. and this is someone who is very serious about their profession. Mm -hmm. I would not come to you and. Steal but they have never lost anything. Exactly. To be honest, I've worked with Zilani. I worked with Foina. Yeah. I've worked with Trisha. Trisha. I've worked with Kesh. Make by Kesh. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, something like mm -hmm. that. And imagine I've never had a case of them taking any of my products. Yeah. If it's lost first, I'll find out at home mm. and most of the time it's the girls who too can displace it so the first thing I want to be like oh she stole yeah, my you thing. stole my things you, you know. stole my, my yeah. lipstick and, and stuff. I think we also just need to be considerate and consider about her both feelings just because I'm paying you that four five or four five five doesn't mean that you're not a human being it's true. you know when they come home offer them a cup of tea you know uh, ask them you know how was your day how is your life even them they're human yeah. beings you know yeah. Yes, so I I hope you guys have learned something. Please try and 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 consider timings. Like even Zilani will tell you I've really improved. Mm -hmm. Like nowadays she comes to do makeup and I am ready. Yeah. I have showered mm -hmm. and I am ready. Yeah. I do not keep you waiting mm -hmm. for two hours. Yes, please. I have also worked on it and I am. Mm -hmm. I think nowadays I'm doing a good job. You're really doing well. You're really doing well. Yes, yeah, because you know, I started well. that because you know, I was like, anyway, you can't tell her to come at 8 and at 8 is when you're going to the shower. Mm. If to be honest. Maybe she had other things to do. She had errands. She's going yeah. to pick up her son. Mm. You see, but also that comes with understanding her. Like, mm. you know, I'm like, Zilani, do you have something else you're doing? Could you go and do that instead exactly. and then come? And also, being, yes, yeah. as she... When I keep up for 30 minutes, even after the day she can be late. Yeah. I also understand her. Yeah. yeah you yeah. get. Yeah. Let's just understand each other and form a good working relationship and communicate. You know, some people because they call you up from online, they get my number online. Some people are not very kind. You know, mm -hmm. they just communicate properly. Tell me this is the kind of look I want. I want you to be in my house at this time. If I have another client, let's try and see if we can. We can, can, yeah, we can work together and get a time that is comfortable, communicate properly with a makeup artist. Yes. Yeah. I think that's another thing, which that's why I talk about timing, which I noticed. Yeah. And, and also another thing, uh, we always, I'm sure you get a lot of this, oh, I, like maybe I can come and be like, oh, you did? For Caroline to go a good uh, a good face bit. Mm. Can I look like her? Guys, there's nothing like that. <laughs> That's true. We all have different skin tones, mm -hmm. we all have different skin types, different features. Mm. We Please. cannot look all the same. We can't that all look true. the same. You know, that like me, true. I would like to look like her. You like know, a lot of people. Look at her smoky. Look at her smoky. She's never done a smoky eye for being like this. 
Zilani. You see? But you know, I can't be like I want to look like you. We are all and a lot of people tell me about your looks by the way. When you know a fashionable step mom, this can look come like that. Imagine I don't even have looks. Do I have looks? Good. If it's I let her to do whatever. Imagine she lets me do whatever. That's another thing. Like it's good you can get images <laughs> online or something you really like, whatever. but also give the the makeup artist freedom. Yeah, what's your address? Yes. Like maybe this look you 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 liked this is a caucasian you you're a bit of a melanin sister we can look for a middle middle ground you know mm-hmm. because we, everyone gets this everyone has screenshots squeezy women yeah we love ourselves everyone has screenshots you know yeah how she doesn't yeah but yeah then you find someone i want this i want to look like this and i have said no to many brides before mm-hmm. if you come to me and you're there's this bride i had and she had these images from a, a very famous makeup artist in the UK, okay. Joy wow. Denuga. Oh, is that, she's really good. She's really good. <laughs> but you see, like, her, have you noticed most of her clients are very flawless? Yes, they are. Yeah, they, they are. And also, she's not heavy on the eyes. She's not heavy on the she's eyes. She's heavy exactly. on the skin. But Sasa, mm-hmm. when you come to me, I will be very okay. To get inspiration from mm. someone else, like mm. we get inspired, we get inspired. Yeah, there's nothing new under the sun. But anyway. the fact that I do your makeup and you're looking at the phone and the yourself and you're comparing, you're serious. Look, yes, I knew this one. This one is a sumbua. <laughs> this one. So if I that's just the one she did, sumbua. Yeah. <laughs> if I just sense you're a sumbua, imagine I don't have. Have you, by the way, on that note, have you ever had issues where you've done someone's makeup and you've had to rub it all off and start again? No, thank God, no. Okay. I thank God. Oh, it can my break gosh. your heart. It can break your heart. No. But usually I learned. When I was young, when I started off, I was like, I feel like I know it all. Mm-hmm. But now with experience, we learn different types of people. You get to, if somebody tells you, I have a makeup, this, no, this is a, for a makeup artist and you're young and you're starting out. If a client tells you, I don't like this, don't take it personally. Just tell her, okay, what do you like? What do you want me to to reduce? What do you want me to change? Mm. That one, I, that one, I can listen to. Mm. But I've never had someone who's ever told me, "I don't like it." No, I think that God has been faithful. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, I hope you've learned something. And ask your questions if you have anything you'd like to ask Nilani in terms of how to start up, and in terms of how she can support you or she can mentor you. Which is doing by force. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so let us know how you liked the video and subscribe. And yeah, share. Till next time. Bye. See you.